Auckland's traffic is what it is, you, you can't get out of it. You, you don't have a choice, You've, you know, if you want to go somewhere that's where you've got to go and you've just got to do it. The biggest thing I've learnt is patience. I've seen a lot of big trucks out there do some stupid things, following too close and it's really intimidating. It is nerve wracking as a cyclist to have somebody sitting so close up behind you because they, they're in a big metal box that needs a lot more space to stop if they have to hit the brakes. So if they just gave me a few more seconds to actually make a decision, look ahead, judge what's around me, and if there is a bit of a queue building up behind me, I'll, I'll find a safe spot to, to pull over and, and shelter and let them pass and then hook back in again. We've just all done a safe ed course through all my drivers, put them all through that. And part of that is anticipating. And that goes with cyclists, other road users, cars and everything like that. You're watching, you're forever watching. What are they doing? How can I keep going? How, what can I do here? Your head does not stop. You're looking sideways, backwards, mirrors, constantly. It's better for the truck to hold back than the cyclist. We don't know where the cyclists are going. Sometimes they indicate, sometimes they don't. You pull up to an intersection, they can go any way. And if, I, if I'm driving along and I see a cyclist coming up towards it, I'll hang back, then I know where he is the whole time. I don't hug the pavement, I ride that little bit further out. And by being that little bit further out, I don't have to duck and dive around all the stuff that is on the road or park cars, things like that. When you're driving in your car, you just drive over things. You don't feel the tin can that you drive over or the, the pine cone that's fallen off the tree. Or So riding just that little bit further out, giving yourself that little bit of a buffer of space away from all that rubbish um, means that you don't have so many things that can trip you up. But also riding that little bit further out means that you can actually look ahead. I can keep a smooth straight line and if I can ride a straight line, I can ride faster. Bonus to everybody, I get there quicker, get myself out of that bigger traffic flow faster, but I'm not holding anybody up either. When those vehicles come past at speed, there's that feel of being sucked in. Um, it's almost like they've created this vortex that's pulling you towards them, and you hanging on for dear life and pedaling and, and trying to pull in the opposite direction. It makes you feel very vulnerable. It, it makes you very aware of how little you are and how quickly things could go wrong if things you know, pull through really fast. I've tried to tell all my drivers too, we're driving a branded truck, you know, it's got um, the name of the company all over it, so it's a, you're driving a big billboard. So if you start driving bad, people are going to notice about it and can complain about it. It's bad for morale, it's bad for business, don't do it. We're all on the road together, we're all road users and we all have a liability to each other to get home safely. Everyone wants to go home at night, so let's share the road, let's be responsible, let's see what we're doing, let's let other people know what we're doing. We can all work together.